is a statement. Yes. That is an exoneration. Yes. The Prime Minister is one of us who is taking the lead to get us to our destination. He is the, the good, good guy. guy. Tony is a good guy. Tony is a good guy. The good guy. Tukwasani is a good guy. On this note. On this note. On this note. In his absence, please permit me to welcome the Honorable Prime Minister Obato Bie, one of Biafra land. Anonkan Kampi. Oh, Chua de Rubo Biafra. Woke Jay Jemba. Mbejiri Buago. Mr. Prime Minister, Honorable Ekpa Simon Njoku, welcome to the Biafra Convention. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think we have been able to demonstrate our love for the Prime Minister. He's so dear to us. Wherever he is, he's in the spirit with us. On that note, I call on the Chief of Staff of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile, Dr. Ngozo Rabrizi, to come in and uh, stand for the Prime Minister and to deliver his speech. There was yours.
I, Dr. Ngozora Bwese, the Chief of Staff of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile, soon to be the United States of Biafra. <laughs> And the de facto government, everyone, to this beautiful venue in Lati. Thank you to the people and the government of Finland. My name is Dr. Ngazi Orobweze. Our presence here today. Sorry, let me see. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. I stand here on this memorable event in Lati to welcome Biafrans and dignitaries from all over the world that are here present in Finland. Last year, we gathered in Helsinki to chart a new cause for our people and fight for our freedom. This year, we are gathering again to review our progress and make definite statements about our freedom. The challenges we face are still enormous, but one thing is clear. Because our angels, Biafra Defense Forces and Resistance Fighters, have dispatched their duties with utmost professionalism, the oppressors have realized they can't kill their way out of our quest for freedom. They are ploy to deceive the people with fake restructuring and state creation will not work. You all remember, we've been asking for restructuring for ages and Nigeria have refused. Now that our PM has risen up, they now want regional government. Not for us anymore. None of these ploys will bring back the thousands of Biafrans the Nigeria state have killed just for carrying flags or on mere suspicion of being an indigenous people of Biafra membership. Just for being an IPOB, just for being a Biafran, Nigeria mothers our people in the thousands. Many families have been rendered childless, motherless, and or fatherless by the Nigeria state. Many people have had their homes and businesses burnt or destroyed by Nigeria state. Many more people have died as a result of secondary effects of the pain and suffering we have had to endure in the hands of the Nigerian state. My fellow dear friends, as I look back over three years since the abduction and extraordinary rendition of our leader, Onyendu Mazinam the Kano MNK, and the severe suffering this act brought onto our people, I am saddened by the extreme cruelty the Nigeria state has unleashed on our people. We have endured a lot and stand to endure even more, underscoring our resolve to attain our inalienable God-given right to existence, freedom, pursuit of happiness and livelihood. Dear friends are begging to leave. We are begging to leave. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> The Nigerian state has been anything but an impediment to all these ideals, hence our resolve to exit the enclave that has never been more urgent than now. I salute the courage of Biafrans in the homeland who have borne the brunt of Nigeria state-sponsored cruelty, particularly those that have paid the ultimate price and their families. To the Biafrans in diaspora, I cannot thank you enough for standing up for your compatriots and being a source of hope for the defenseless people in the homeland who are victims in many respects, including loss of our collective wealth to a select privileged few who then turn around and denigrate the people as miscreants. Mm -hmm. 
This sorry state of the enclave is the primary inspiration for MK's fight for the freedom for our people on realization that a fix within the current enclave and its institutions is impossible. In this regard, we initiated a self-referendum voting for our people to decide whether or not they support Biafra independence from Nigeria. This voting process started on February 1st, 2024 and ran through November 28, 2024. The voting just ended, the referendum. The full results will be out in the next two, three weeks to the world. The participation was massive, with approximately 15 million referendum will be released later in the next one or two weeks once again i welcome you to the most beautiful and most hospitable city lati finland thank you so much